Hi, I'm Martin and you're watching Living Well TV. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you some of, some of my favourite uh, shoulder exercises and also which ones you should be avoiding so you don't get injured. So stay tuned and keep watching. The shoulder is made up mainly of the deltoid. So you've got three parts of the deltoid, which is uh, the back, the middle and the front. So anterior, medial, posterior. You've also got the upper part of the trapezius, uh, as well as the back there, and you find that uh, as a secondary muscle group, the shoulder exercise will work the top of that trapezius. Um, shoulder fronts will actually isolate it a little bit better for you, which I'll go through later. And also when you're doing presses, you'll also have the tricep, uh, will come in as a secondary muscle group, because obviously when you're pressing, you work with the tricep as well. Okay, so the first one is a standard exercise. I'm gonna do this seated. You can do it standard as well, but I'll do it seated for now. It's, a, it's just a standard shoulder press. So you don't want to come too low, okay? You want to be here. And what you do from here is that you push up above the head, okay? And coming back down to about chin level there. And you arc up into the center, coming back down. So you push up, and back down nice and easy to here, okay? And then you have something what's called the Arnold Press, which is invented by Arnold Schwarzenegger. And this starts at the front here. So you start at the front, chin level, and what you do then, you come around, okay, and you arc around, and you come to the top, above your head, into the center, breathe it out, come in back. Just a little bit faster now. seated uh, you can tend to li lift a little bit heavier so if you want to build big shoulders then do it seated also if you want to work more muscle groups and work your core you can just do the shoulder press standing up so from here so now I'm standing up I'm having to work my core muscles as well okay but you you can't lift quite as heavy just here So if you, if you want to really want to, if you're focusing on, on getting larger shoulders, then do it seated. Uh, also, one point I want to make is have the chair slightly, have the bench slightly angled back, only a very, very slight angle, just, just here. Uh, the reason being, when you've got it too far forward, it tends to, you tend to put, it's very hard to try and get a stable back when you're too far forward. But when you lean back just a little bit, you will focus. Because the natural movement of the shoulder, okay, is here. So you can see it wants to come forward. Okay, it doesn't want to come here. Uh, one thing you can do um, with a cable machine, if you've got a bar like this, you can do a standard sort of barbell military press or cable press uh, with this bar. I normally do it facing the machine, but for the purpose of this video, I'll do it facing the other way so you can see what I'm doing. So you set the bar on your cable, your head cable height. So when you come up, you just about top the, by the clavicle, by the collarbone, okay? Now from here, you hold the stomach in, like have a soft knee, it's a very, very slight bend on leg. You push it above the head, coming back down to here. Okay. Um, one thing I will mention is that you should never do any presses behind your neck. Some people may advocate it, um, but you're heading for a shoulder injury if you keep them behind your neck. As I just mentioned a few minutes ago, the natural angle of your body or your shoulders, they, they come at an angle here. If you place them here, put them in your neck, it's a very unnatural position for the shoulder joints. Okay, the shoulders don't like it, and you end up with a lot of people getting shoulder injuries. So always have, when you, if you ever do a barbell or a, or a military press, have the barbell in front, push it above your head. Another thing which I will not be doing on here as well, which also impinges the shoulder, is upright rows. And an upright row, which I'll show you, just lower this down. So if you're not familiar with an upright row, okay, so an upright row is here, and some people say, well, if you go wider, it's less stress on the shoulders. It isn't. Okay, so you're bringing the elbow up first, and bringing that, into the, and I can already feel my shoulders go, no, please stop. Okay, and they're coming down. Now, we have to work the body 
in its natural range of movement. There's no natural range where I, could, I wouldn't go to pick something up off the floor and do this. Oh, I'll just get these. There you are, I'll just take these over here now. You wouldn't do that. You would pick them up here, here. You'd never pick them up like this. It's unnatural. So again, I would advise you to, uh, to avoid behind the neck presses and also upright rows, okay? Because there's, there's a much, much higher chance of you getting a shoulder injury. Um, also what you can do, because you, say for instance now these muscles, these, sorry, these um, exercises are multi-joint, or what's called compounds. Multi-joints are a better term, so multi-joint means two, working across two joints or, or more. So here we've got the elbow joint and the shoulder joint, so you're getting a multi-joint exercise, okay? Whereas what I'm going to show you now is some single joint exercises. Now if you, if you have a, a weak front delt, if it's flat to you, or a weak rear delt, or you want to work more on the medial delt, you can do isolation exercises, or single joint exercises, so single joint. So the first thing I'm going to do is a side lateral raise, and again, what you do is hold your stomach in, here, yeah? and from there, okay, soft knee, looking forward, Make, make sure the arms are just slightly bent and make sure when you come up to the top your, up, your upper arm is parallel to the floor, okay? So you're coming up here to here, that's where you want to be, about shoulder level, no higher, coming back down to the center. Some people like to lean forward a bit so they can bring, bring you right in front and that just makes it a little bit harder, okay? Just come in here. And some people like to put a little turn in as they come up as well, okay? So that's, that will hit the medial delts and a secondary muscle group, it'll hit the uh, trapezius, top of the trapezius. And again, as you can see, it's a single joint, so only one joint is moving, okay? Just the, the shoulder joint. Uh, and, the, and the only difference is uh, with this now, huh? so I want to, what I'm going to do is work the anterior delt, like the front of the delt. So if you've got weak delts at the front, then you can add this, incorporate this into your workout. Okay, just coming up, and back down. And for rear delts, what you do, you come forward. You can't do this lying on, on a bench as well. Just bend, bend your legs, come in here with them in front. Make sure that you're sitting back and your back is nice and straight, okay? And what you're doing, you're just flying backwards. Let's show you from the front here. So back nice and straight, looking forward, arms slightly bent, okay? It's worthwhile mentioning as well uh, with the Arnold press. This also works the front of the delt, okay? So, if you don't want to do isolation exercises, you want to focus on your compound or multi-joint, then what you can do is do the Arnold press, and that will hit the medial and front delt as well. So it's a little bit more muscle groups work there. Now, there's one thing um, I must point out, that a lot of the exercises we do, especially with shoulders, are what's called internal movement, okay? Of the, so you, you bring, you're always bringing the shoulder joint inwards. There's no external, okay? Now what happens with that, with that is you get weak rotator cuffs. That's a group of three or four muscles supporting the, the shoulder joint here. Now, what you can do is you can either use a power band or a, a long rubber bands, or you can use a cable machine. So I'll just set it up for you now. Easier said than done. So you put this D-handle on, sometimes they're metal, sometimes they're, they're rope, but sometimes they're just uh, cloth like that, okay? And you want to set the height of this, so your arms at the right angle, okay? So your arms at the right angle there, put the stomach in, and what you do, imagine now that your arm is stuck to your body. So if you was to put a piece of paper or cloth under your arm, it shouldn't fall out. A lot of people make a mistake when they do this. You bring the elbow up like that. And what you tend to do, you're working more with a tricep, you know, the, 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 the rotator cuff. So your arm stays in here. You need a very heavy weight. Rotator cuffs on your small group of muscles, okay? And from here, you come out like that, okay? As you can see, nice and straight, hold the stomach in, looking forward. And then I'm working on the rotator cuff. And what that does, it works to retreat the cuff so you don't get muscle imbalances. So if you ever had a shoulder injury and you're not doing this exercise, I advise you to do it. You can also do it with dumbbells. Um, basically what it is, is you have your arms here, okay, and my arms, as you can see, at, at right angles, 
and parallel to the floor and just come up and back down nice and easy. Okay, just start off with a lightweight doing these um, because if you haven't been doing them, they're going to be weak. Uh, so just start off nice and light and then work your weight up. You won't be able to lift very heavy with them, they're not big muscle groups, but it's important to work these muscle groups to avoid shoulder injuries. There's nothing worse, you're doing well in your training and bang your shoulder goes. But you can't do anything. You can't do shoulder presses, you can't do a low rows, you can't do back, you can't do chest. Um, so it's, it's quite annoying when you get a shoulder injury. I've been there, I've had shoulder injuries in the past because I haven't done rotator cuff exercises. So please incorporate them into your shoulder workouts. Okay, well thanks for watching today. There's some shoulder exercises for you to get on with. I hope this helped. Uh, please click the like button if you like this video and support us and subscribe to our channel. Much appreciated. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon.